I'll be at phantomriverstone.com. You can come by later. Hey everyone, this is Switch, and this is a short video to show you the Shenmue Chapter 1 Sacred Spot Guide Map which is a Shenmue-themed walking guide for Yokosuka and especially the Dopoita Street area. This was released last month by the Yokosuka City Tourism Planning Division with official blessing from Sega. It's been published in both Japanese and English and this is the English version here. So the map itself is A4 in size and the paper is good weight and quality, it's not flimsy at all. It's in a trifold style so it opens out to span three pages across. And the guide was in fact created by only two people, and they've really done an amazing job with it. The first inside page here is a Shenmue briefing page. The width of the page is actually slightly narrower, so it tucks inside neatly. At the top is some background on the game series, including a mention of the Shenmue 3 crowdfunding campaign, and a description of some of the pioneering features Shenmue introduced, like magic weather and daily routines for characters. Then at the bottom, there are brief summaries of games 1 and 2. And if we open it up fully, this is the maps section, and there's quite a lot of information here. This map at the top left is a close-up of the Dopoita Street area, and various locations are pointed out which are represented in the game, or inspired places in the game. Each one is marked with a number, which matches with these photos and explanations down below. For example, number one over on the right is a shop called Hanamatsu, which is a florist shop, and this is actually the inspiration for the Aida florist where Nozomi works in the game. And if we read the description down on the bottom here, the shop has actually been around since 1933. The explanations also have a couple of images, one showing the game screenshot, and one a photo of the actual location. They're quite small, because space is obviously limited. The second map over on the top right here is a wider view of the Greater Yokosuke area. We've got Dobuita Street over on the right, and it shows the route that Ryo took to get over to the harbour where he had his job. And you can actually go there by bus yourself. There's information in this guide which tells you which bus to catch to get there. Down at the bottom right here, there's also a section which has some photos of how Yokosuka used to look back in 1986, at the time the game was set. This one here, for example, is the large gantry crane that you can see in the game itself. And we learn that this was actually dismantled, so now there's only the foundations remaining. And if we turn over to the very back page, there's information at the top about some Yokosuka specialty food, like the Yokosuka cherry cheesecake, the Yokosuka navy burger, and the Yokosuka navy curry. You can find these at several of the restaurants around Yokosuka. In the middle here, there's some information about some of the harbourside parks, as well as the cruise you can take of the Yokosuka harbour itself. Now, I've actually done this myself recently. The commentary is in Japanese only, but I think it's well worth doing, even if you don't understand Japanese. The cruise takes about 45 minutes, and you get a close-up look at some of the warships and submarines, and the general harbour area. Then, down at the bottom, there's some access information about which train lines you can take to get to the Dobuita Street area, and also which buses to catch to get across to the harbour where Rio worked. So that's it for the English version, and I've also got, for comparison, the Japanese version. The information and layout is practically identical, and there's just some small layout changes to fit the text. For example, with the covers. On the Japanese cover, there are some sentences up at the top, and those have been placed down at the bottom in the English version. So as a result, the graphic in the Japanese version has slightly more headroom compared to the English one. And apart from that, the layout is very similar to the English version. About where to get the map. If you're in Japan, you can pick up a physical copy directly from a few different spots around Dobuita. There's one information centre called Dobuita Station, which is on Dobuita Street itself, and another one in the shopping building across from the Yokosuka Chuo train station, east exit. Also, the Hanamatsu flower shop has some in a stand outside. The maps are also available in electronic form as a PDF download on the Yokosuka City site, so check out the video description for a link to these. If you're interested in reading about how the Shimu Guide map was created, we've got an interview with one of the Yokosuka City staff who worked on it, up on the blog at phantomriverstone.com. And you can also keep up to date on our latest blog posts by following Twitter and Facebook. I'll put links to these also in the video description.
Thanks for watching and see you next time.